Okay, uh, now with uh, assistant coach uh, Harry Mahesh. And yesterday, Harry, after our conversation, we were hoping to talk about some good news here tonight. And we definitely did get some, have some good news as it was a, a much different Kings team right from the opening faceoff than what we saw last night. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I came in here pretty critical of our performance yesterday and um, they got the message. And I think that's, that's kind of what we expected, you know, in terms of the result for tonight. Yeah, and then, you know, first period, you, you come out flying right from the get-go, but it is, once again, uh, you know, an, an early power play goal against, you know, an iffy one or whatever you want to make of it. But, uh, you know, you, you give that up, but boom, boom, you, you score two quick goals and, and you quickly take the lead. Yeah, you know, on that first one, I mean, if we could, you know, if this was a rule, we'd probably challenge it for interference. But, you know what, it is what it is. You can't go back. It was nice to respond uh, with that one right away with Richie getting his first of the year and obviously getting the teddy bears on the ice, you know, that kind of, you know, kind of wakens the bench up a little bit too. It's kind of fun atmosphere. And then to come back and score that second goal right after, that kind of really set the tone for the rest of the game. And, you know, you know Turner Richards getting that, that first goal, and he's somebody who's come in here. He's, he's, he earned a spot on the team about a month ago, and now he's been playing some pretty good hockey of late. And, you know, Brock, yesterday it was a tough decision to sit him out, but, you know, he makes the most of it when he returns to the lineup with that goal. Yeah, and, you know, he came to us from Cowichan, and that's kind of – you know wh why he's back in there today because you know there's there's always something extra to give when uh, you know a team uh, moves on from you so we kind of knew he'd come in hungry uh, he's a guy who battles in practice uh, you know for the last couple of weeks he's been trying to find that role and he definitely has a skill to do it it's just trying to fit and kind of make it work um, with the minutes that you get and then we, we move now over to the uh, uh, second period. Again, the Kings uh, continue right where you left off. You get two quick goals. Noah Ayer, who's really, I think, really played well this week and really starting to come into form and get adjusted to BCHL. And then Anthony Yu with this another incredible shot as he just was Anthony Yu out there tonight. Yeah, it was nice. Obviously, you know, we've been snake betting a few times to, to score eight. It was nice. Um, you know, guys kind of breaking slumps and guys have, some streaks going, you know, Symes is now on eight game point streak now, he scored four goals in those eight games. So it's nice to see, um, you know, I said yesterday we were going to watch that video back and, and learn from it. And, you know, same for tonight, you, you take away all the goals and then you see what happens between the goals. And was it, you know, our best game? I, I don't think it was, you know, I think uh, we were able to score tonight, but, uh, you know, we got to know who the competition is well. Like, obviously we came in here expecting to win against that team and we did, but, you know, we got to look at what was going on between the goals and, uh, you know, clean up any areas between there, too. And, you know, going into this one, you, you guys did have, have some line shuffling going on, and, and it, it appeared to work out pretty well because, you know, aside from, you know, that line of McNerland and Poff and the line, which stayed together, they didn't get a point, but they still played pretty well. But it was everybody else that I, I, I haven't really tallied the, the number, but there was a lot of guys who had multi-point nights tonight. Yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, I think all... Yeah, that line, you know, they've been they've been carrying the mail for us and for a, for a lot of nights and tonight, um, you know, they went out there and they just they kept it simple, but then everybody else was able to chip in around them, and that's kind of what we needed. You know, we can't always have the same guys, you know, looking to score. So the fact that, yeah, was it their best night? You know, I think they would say that it, it probably wasn't, um, but you know, they take a lot of attention. Uh, you know, when there's matchups, it kind of lets everybody in working behind them, and and the other guys showed up and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice to, to have everybody kind of chip in today. And especially, you know, towards the end there, we had a, you know, we only finished with 3D with the, the penalties there. So it was a good night for a lot of guys to kind of get some points and, you know, get some confidence out. And then well. Anthony, Anthony Luke really had that highlight real goal to, you know, to kick things off uh, in the third period and really open the floodgates. What do you thought of that goal from the bench? You know what, that's, that's kind of his patented move. It, it seems like anytime he gets in alone, uh, he's capable of that. And, uh, you know, he's a guy that, you know, we even talked to yesterday. He, he can kind of do everything for you, but we really want him to, to step up and, and you know, figure out what it is that, you know, he can contribute every night. He's been great defensively. Uh, I know that makes it tough to, you know, score when you're always getting matched up against the top line. So he was able to kind of worry a little bit less about playing those matchup minutes and kind of have some freedom. And, and we know he can score, and it was nice to see him contribute on the with a goal and assist. Tonight. Yeah, and then and then you mentioned, uh, you know, it wasn't the best game for this Kings team, but you, you managed still to find a way, and that's something we haven't really seen much of. You know, when you don't, when the Kings haven't played their best game, it it, it, it reflects in, in the in the in the record. Yeah, you know, it's just it's funny. You know, these guys, especially when you get up, you just the the bench is better and and the vibe and all we're doing kind of in that third period is like reminding them, look how good this feels. You know, and obviously last night. You know, it's a different kind of feeling, but it's like winning's fun, and we know we're capable of it. And it's just, 
it takes a lot of work and a lot of detail and it, it takes showing up and obviously next weekend we have a big test but this is the feeling we have to build off of and you know we don't want to lose any more games at home so we're expecting to go in next week and and win both that's that's our realistic uh goal that we're going to work towards this week yeah and then you know going back to the third period it, got, it definitely got a, a, a little scrappy there but how do, how do you like the way you know your team responded of standing up for each other i thought it was good you know a lot of times um you know when you're up uh, you kind of expect it uh we kind of talked about thinking that hey that's a possibility it's kind of not really in the game anymore but every once in a while it creeps up and i thought we handled ourselves pretty good we didn't do anything um you know that was you know that that got out of hand so we were kind of on our toes we were ready for it we see these guys again in two weeks so again especially these division games battling for that playoff spot uh, you know every game is going to matter in terms of setting the tone for the next time you play them yeah and you have you no know, still trying to finish off the homestand here you played the Surrey Eagles and and you know you pl you play well tonight but there's still you know I'll, I think a lot to clean up going in, into next weekend yeah and it's just consistency I mean we can score a couple goals but we do tend to kind of have a bit of a dip once we kind of get rolling um, I think guys feel eager like okay not that they think it's going to be easy but you know they think that you know you can find a way to cheat the puck and you know maybe if you pepper a goalie over and over and find like kind of a, a weakness so you kind of overdo some things on the offensive side but if we can just score and reset you know we get scored on reset i think that's easier said than done but with us it's you know we can go one of two ways and you know tonight uh, we were able to come out on the winning side yep B big win today for the kings 8-2 victory over the capitals two games left on the homestand as they take on the surrey eagles next friday and saturday at seven o'clock here at the half thank you very much harry for your time here post game yeah thanks for having me